Diego Rodriguez de Silva Velasquez, a Baroque painter from Spain, 1599 to 1660. Okay, so Cristo Crucificado, Christ Crucified, 1631, oil on canvas, Museo del Prado, Madrid, masterpiece, actually an exceptional nude study for this painting. What's the emotional impact when we stand in front of it? Serenity. This is an equestrian portrait of the Count Duke of Olivares, 1634. Gaspar de Guzman was his name, prime minister of the country during the reign of Philip IV. He's performing here some kind of school jump, which is an extremely difficult move with the horse there, and he's obviously skilled as hell, probably represents his control of the country. Let's move on to this, Las Meninas. It's Margaret, uh, Margaret Teresa there. She's the daughter of Philip IV of Spain. Two dwarfs there, some court people, Velázquez, the great artist himself, to the left. In the background there is a mirror which reflects, it reflects the king and the queen. Are they the reflection of you, the viewer, that is, you are the king or the queen, or is that just a reflection of the painting? We will never know, but what's up with the dwarfs though? He was much into dwarfs, and we can see here in the portrait of Sebastian de Morra, the dwarves, they were like jesters at the royal court, but Velázquez respected them. This dwarf denounces the treatment of jesters. Velázquez recognizes his individual value as a human being, and he is not a ridicule in this painting. Mariana, okay, I want to talk uh, a little bit about Philip IV. He actually married his niece, Mariana, so Mariana married her maternal uncle. This is the mother, uh, this is the mother here, and their offspring became Charles II of Spain, a physically, intellectually, and emotionally disabled man, so inbreeding is not cool. Don't get obsessed with keeping some kind of pure blood in the royal families, it's just weird stuff, okay? So, Rokeby Venus, Venus, the Roman goddess of love, and her son there, Cupid, the Roman god of physical love. So what's interesting about this painting, it's actually a demonstration of the so-called Venus effect. As you can see, she's looking at herself in the mirror, but is that really possible? If we, the viewers, can see her face in the mirror, no, that is not possible actually. She wouldn't see herself in the mirror, so, okay, that is called the Venus effect. And in 1914, the suffragette Mary Richardson walked into the National Gallery and actually vandalized this painting. The suffragettes were women who wanted equal voting rights for women, so that's understandable, but let's not judge, let's not support or denounce uh, that behavior, it's history, let's just see it as an historical event like mature individuals. Uh, the painting was later restored, okay, so the surrender of Bretta, the siege of Bretta occurred in the 17th century during the Dutch War of Independence, and the siege resulted in Bretta falling in the control of the army of Flanders. So this is Justinus van Nassau and Ambrogio Spinola. Nassau is giving the keys to the city to Spinola. We can see that Spinola demonstrates some real extraordinary respect towards the Dutch army, and he had forbidden his troops actually to abuse the Dutch. War is terrible, but uh, can it lead to more humanity in the end? Discuss with a friend. Okay, the three musicians. It was uh, painted in chiaroscuro, a, a baroque painting technique that utilizes the contrast between light and dark shadows to achieve a sense of volume in the paintings. Now, the three musicians is not to be confused with the not as spectacular artwork by Pablo Picasso. What's up? The Coronation of the Virgin, yes, La Coronación de la Virgen, Museo del Prado, oil on canvas, spectacular. The Holy Trinity crowning the Blessed Virgin Mary, you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit there, yes, okay. My friends, this is an accomplishment of excellence, purity. This painting transcends all your common sense and lets your soul ascend into heaven, okay, so that's Velasquez, one of the greatest painters of history, okay, so thank you very much, be sure to like this video, subscribe, okay, see you guys.